Both of you made big mistakes. Presentation for both teams were not good. Only thing about this in, the, in my mouth now is sugar. After we were getting the negative comments, like we lost the hope. Quarterfinals of Lego Fruitshella Kids presented by Omo and Lifeboy. It feels great to be in the quarterfinals because it's like an amazing experience being in Fruitshella Kids and it's our first experience. So the total experience was amazing and we hope to reach the finals and win the competition. We have taken a lot of steps in which we can improve from our last uh, mistakes what we have done. We have improved a lot and how can we manage our time and what are steps we should take first. This time we're focusing on the presentation to make it more uh, better and we have also set the time according to it for, to like uh, give more time on the presentation. Teams, you are now through to the second level of the competition and let me tell you, the pressure is increasing. You are familiar with the rules and with your kitchen, so I'm going to waste no time in introducing your judge and mentor for the season, Chef Mariano Andres. See you, Hello, Amy. How are you feeling? Very nervous today. Me too. Since we are in the quarterfinals, today we decide who goes to the semifinal, one step closer to the grand finale. Our motto for the Fuchala kids is to cook to heal the world and serve love in our plates. And boys, watch out, because we're here to take revenge with love. Best, Best of luck. luck. We, we are coming, coming for you. you. We are in the month of Ramadan, and there are some rituals that we follow. Pray fasting and breaking the fast with the right food. Teams, today's team, you need to prepare a lavish iftar dawat, and you only have 75 minutes. You need to prepare a four course meal, and one of those courses is a compulsory, you need to use Britannia biscuits. Under your table, you have a basket of the biscuits. Please bring it on. To make the dessert, you need to use any of these biscuits on this basket. Another important thing that you need to remember is that you must incorporate rainbow evaporated milk into one of your dishes. With rainbow evaporated milk, you can replace cream with milk. The dawat that you present must showcase your hospitality and celebrate the culture and traditions of the holy month of Ramadan. Remember, dawat is made from the heart, but if you want to add in an extra spoon of love, you can do. Now we're going to be looking for effort, skills and teamwork on your plates. But before we start the cooking competition, I have an advantage challenge for you. If you look underneath your units, you will be able to see the Omo box. If you want to bring it out on top of the tables, Now, I know you guys are familiar with the rules of the 100 Stain Omo Challenge. Inside this box, there are 100 pieces of cloth, each one with a different stain. You have 30 seconds to find the stain that I tell you. The winner of the challenge will get 75 minutes cooking time. The loser of the challenge will get 70 minutes, so they will start five minutes after the competition begins. The stain that you are going to be looking for today is coriander powder. Now remember, you don't just have to use your eyes, you can use all your senses to try and find this stain. Are you ready? Yes. Guys, get looking. In three, two, two one, one, go! Take a good look. Yes, I think team two has found the coriander stain. That means that they will have 75 minutes cooking time. And I'm sorry, team one, 
you will only have 70 minutes cooking time. We won the Omo challenge and we feel really great about it because last time we were under a lot of pressure and this time we think we can do it. So first I thought the coriander powder should be brown so I was searching a brown color but then it was green when they when the other opponent team uh, showed, showed, the, uh, uh, showed the stain so we were a little confused in that. Teams, the quarterfinal is about to begin. Your time starts in three, two, one, go! Lego Fuchala Kids, presented by Lifeboy and Omo, in association with Alain Farms, Britannia, Tilda, Aquafresh, Red Tag, Rainbow, Bollywood Park, Media Partners, Radio 4, Eagle Eye Interiors. It's a K-Company production. Your time starts in three, two, one, go! When we started, we had decided that there would be four dishes and two of them I would take care of it and then two of them or she would take it. And in between, we would help each other if we needed something. So that uh, the teamwork is also yeah. included in this coordination between both of us. I had the soup and the dessert and Hannah took care of the main course and appetizer. Thing one, your time starts now. For dessert, we are making kunafa uh, malaya, and for soup, we are making chicken uh, mushroom soup. Uh, we're making the next course with the shepherd's pie. In the shepherd's pie, uh, we're going to use Britannia biscuits, so it will get crunchy content in my um, meat mix. So we've used rainbow evaporated milk in our uh, dessert. So then uh, instead of using heavy cream, we've used uh, rainbow evaporated milk because it looks much more flowy and, it's, it, uh, and it adds better texture and flavor to your dish. I'm concentrating more on the taste and he's like more on the presentation and the Lego. So uh, that, that's our plan. The taste should work for Chef Mariano. So to impress him and then in the semi-final the same. So like, let's see how it goes. So for the dessert, we used a Britannia biscuit and we thought that, uh, and we used it to the fullest. And we, uh, we used bourbon and pista flavored uh, Britannia biscuits. So when it came to the bourbon, uh, we laid it, uh, we laid the biscuit in between of our, the batter and to give it like a very international look. So we have like, um like brought the different, different the dishes from different countries so the lamb chops come from britain and shepherd's pie come from again from britain and then the sweet come, is local and like from jordan and J egypt and the the clay soup. soup is local so it's like a mix a mix of all countries in one in one plate girls sure, what is sure. happening i can smell something a little bit burned can I check? What is here? Okay. So that's the chicken. chicken. Chicken? Yes, sure. You sure you didn't burn it? Yes, sure. I think you should put it in low fire. If not, it's going to get burned. Okay, yes. You have extra chicken? Mm? Yeah. Marinated extra chicken? If not, there is plenty of chicken provided by Alain Farms, OK? Yes, sure. So yes. if you burn it, redo it again. We knew that Chef Mariano will definitely come to our counter because I think he saw that the chicken was, you know, we were a bit panicking while, you know, we were checking the chicken. Thank God nothing happened to my chicken because that was, that was the thing that was really going to make my biryani. Team one, Hi, what is happening here? Hi, Chef. What are you doing? You uh -huh. spent already 31 minutes only with this. How much time it takes? 
it should uh, I should take uh, 10 minutes like for in the burning cream mm -hmm. but in uh, this it takes a little longer but maybe you put uh, too much extra no that's why because you have to make more you sure yes be careful I think uh, you won't have time huh we are in the quarterfinals the pressure is there are you ready yes see you soon yes sir timing of heating is different than the induction the gas than the induction so that's why like in, at home you have gas so it cook really uh, fast, fast yeah. but in the induction it was kind of slow so yeah for the shepherd's pie we used biscuit and the rainbow evaporated milk the rainbow evaporated milk made the mashed potatoes really creamy and fluffy and the biscuit made the gravy uh, crispy crispy and made a, gave a crispy content for the mixture Teams, this is the last five minutes. We are in the quarterfinals and I don't see anything ready yet. You only have five minutes to bake, to clean the kitchen, to plate the dishes, and I don't see any of this. Hurry up, and what is the rest? I don't see anything. That I was really, I was really panicked because like we had to put the shepherd's pie in the uh, oven and like I had to co cook the Brussels sprouts and even I had to um, like remove the dressing for the presentation I should make the tomato sauce so that time I was really panicked Ladies, same to you I only see one dish here the chicken what else is done? So, so the soup is just heating You're the last? No, the last, almost done Almost done Almost I need to four and a half Strain? Four and a half to finish, to plate, Strain? to clean the kitchen yeah. Hurry up! Vamos! The time goes on. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. 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 Hands up. Stop doing what you're doing. Guys, I think you need a well-deserved break. You can go over and grab some snacks. We've got some biscuits and some chips, and then we will come back for judging. Lego Fuchala Kids, presented by Lifeboy and Omo, in association with Alain Farms, Britannia, Tilda, Aquafresh, Red Tag, Rainbow, Bollywood Park, Media Partners, Radio 4, Eagle Eye Interiors. It's a K-Company production. Welcome back to Lego Food Chala Kids, presented by Omo and Lifeboy. 75 minutes is up, and Gems New Millennium and Gems Our Own put on quite the dawat. It's now time to call on our two popular chefs from the culinary world. Joining us today is Chef Uwe Michel, who is the director of kitchens for Radisson Blue and the president of Emirates Culinary Guild. And joining him is Chef Diego Arapiva, who is the Managing Director of Italian Restaurant Consulting. Let's put our hands together for our judges. Well, gentlemen, I will leave you to enjoy your dawat. Thank, Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Teams, it's time for judging. Team one, please present your dishes. Team one, please explain your dishes to the judges as well as your Lego creation. So for the first course, it's a creamy 
chicken and mushroom soup and the second course is the spicy lamb chops with Brussels sprouts and the third course is the shepherd's pie and the fourth course is the kunafa malkia means royal kunafa. Judges for the Lego we have created a mosque uh, and a very famous place uh, by, uh, where the Muslim community visits in the uh, time of Ramadan and we even uh, wrote we love Ramadan because we love the traditional way how the uh, UAE, uh, how the UAE Muslim people celebrate their tradition and culture. So the Lego creation which was a mosque, uh, we had also done a mosque and I think the mosque was a pretty good idea. Chef Aida, you want to start with the soup? Sure, sure, I will try. Okay, let me see. Is that parsley or coriander? Parsley. Parsley. It's good. Good job. Thank you. Chef Ove? Yeah, I would like to try. The, the meat is, is cooked a little bit too much, so if you next time you cook the meat a little bit less and the Brussels sprouts a little bit more, then you're spot on. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I will try the chef as pie. I can see already that you did not gratinate it enough. Mm. The flavors are good, really good. The mashed potatoes is creamy because I know I saw you use rainbow. It's missing the gratination in the oven. I mentioned earlier to you. Uh, that you will not have time. And when you make it in the oven, you put it in the, in, the, in the middle one. You have to put it on the topper level and put the gratinated, yes? Let's try the uh, dessert. Chefs, yeah. Flavor is good. <coughs> the nuts are, nuts are nice, they go very well with it. They could have been roasted a little bit more. And, but the dessert itself, the kunaba itself, is a little bit dry. For me, it's definitely too dry. Or a little bit more sugar, sugar syrup, something, they need something else. Chef Uwe was not too harsh, he said the truth, because um, he liked the dessert should be a little more juicy. Today, the theme was at the what? I'm expecting a feast. And the presentation today, I have to say, is zero. How we expected the dishes to come out, it didn't come out so well. Uh, so like, um, I don't know why, but I think so because of pressure or like we had pressure that will be, if we have the quarterfinals, our expectations are really high and we have to go to the semifinals to make our school proud and, and the school, school is counting on us. Hello girls. Hello. Team two. Please explain your dishes to the judges, as well as the Lego. So for the starter, we have the creamy chicken soup, so with a lemon and the soup bread. And for the appetizer, we have the Arabian salad. And for the main course, we have a pakka biryani, which is uh, basically Hyderabadi biryani. And for the dessert, we have the dates biscuit kulfi. And our Lego presentation is basically a mosque. So mosque plays a very important role during the time of Ramadan because mosque has connection everywhere. So uh, all the charity work and all the food making happens in the mosque so that uh, they can distribute the food to people who cannot afford food during the time of Ramadan and so that they all can celebrate iftar together with their family and friends. Chef Uwe, you want to start? Yeah, we'll start with the soup. A lot of corn. Nice flavors. Broccoli is a bit overcooked, it's a bit too long. The flavor is, is interesting. And I don't think you will need the, the lemon and the, the cotton solid. I'll try the salad. It has any dressing on it? Yes, Chef, it's garlic and vinegar. Only garlic yeah, and garlic, vinegar? Yeah, garlic, vinegar and olive oil. What to say, it's a salad. Um, it's very simple, it's nice, colorful, but um, I think it needed a twist of different uh, vinaigrettes, not only just plain vinegar and olive oil and garlic. It look a bit dry. A 
the presentation, uh, girls, it's really not nice. Eh? Um, and this for me is plain rice. Okay, the taste of the, uh, the chicken is okay, um, but the rest, uh, not great. When we were making the biryani, the main concept of making the biryani was to, was that the chicken should stand out when uh, compared to the rice and the flavor. So because when we smelled it, we smelled that the uh, chicken was really, the aroma of the chicken was really nice. So we actually planned in a way that the chicken would be, uh, like you could chase the chicken and the rice would be a little plain. So we tried in a different way, but then it didn't seem to work. I will go directly on the dessert. It's a bit too sweet. I know sweetness comes from the dates, so it would need something, a little bit of acid. Could be just a few drops of lemon or, or a little bit of like mango or something like that would work for this kind of desserts very well. The well, only thing about this in, the, in my mouth now is sugar, nothing else. When we tasted the dessert, we felt it was pretty good we, because we like sweet, so you know, we were like, okay, fine, it should taste good. And when it was like, uh, by the time the judges tasted it, I think the batter and the bourbon that we used in between, it kind of like joined together and then the, that's when the sweetness increased. As said before, the both team did some good dish and some dish that was not fantastic. Presentation for both team were not good. Uh, for team one, uh, I like it, the shepherd pie. The soup uh, was a little bit watery and, and compared to the team two was not great. But both soups were nice. I think both, both did in terms of flavors, uh, did a very good job with his, with his soups. Team one was a little bit too thin. Two, team two was a little bit too thick. For me, it was too much garnish. Broccoli was a little bit overcooked, but I do agree it was your strongest, your strongest dish. After we were getting the negative comments, like we lost the hope, like we were like they're going to win. When it came to the feedbacks, uh, both our teams, uh, the judges weren't that pleased with the uh, presentation. Neither were they happy with the flavors of the dishes. And I think that gave us a lot of hope, you know, that saying that we could win the quarterfinals. Teams, as you can see from today's feedback, both of you made big mistakes. When on the first round, both of you did a fantastic job. That's why you're here. Unfortunately, there is only one team, there's only one spot on today's for the semi-final. And the winner is... Team one, James New Millennium. So the presentation last time was much better than the presentation today and like we won but like we are still like that happy. Our heart is not satisfied yeah. because of the dishes we created today. Congratulations to Team Gems New Millennium. You are the first school to go through to the semi-finals. You are one step away from the finale. Well, that's a wrap for this week, but join us for more action here on LEGO Fuchala Kids, presented by Omo and Lifeboy. I feel really sad because we finished the quarterfinal round and we lost. So um, it's kind of depressing, but it's a part of life. Winning and losing doesn't matter. It's more about the participation. It's a K-Company production.